नमस्कार एंड हेलो वेलकम नेटवर्क एनालिसिस और पावर एंड सीपीएम वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द बेसिक्स ऑफ नेटवर्क एनालिसिस और पावर एंड सीपीएम एंड नाउ इट इज टर्न ऑफ लर्निंग हाउ टू ड्रॉ अ पावर चार्ट और नेटवर्क डायग्राम एंड वी हैव अ वेरी सिंपल केस ड्रॉ अ नेटवर्क डायग्राम फॉर द फॉलोइंग एक्टिविटीज बी एंड सी फॉलो ए बी एंड सी फॉलो ए दैट मींस B and C activities B and C are successor of activity A or activity A is the predecessor of B and C. Activity D follows B. That means D is successor of B. Similarly, B is predecessor of D. Activity E follows C. That means E is successor of C. And that means C is predecessor of E. Activities D and E precedes f that means d and e are predecessor of f similarly f is the successor of d and e yes see we can easily understand that a is the only initial activity the project is started with starting activity a a alone is the initial activity similarly f alone is the and or finishing activity to think this right in the inception will make the overall image of the diagram clear in our mind how can we start drawing and how can we conclude see that is a simple thing on the basis of this information that the diagram starts with only one arrow and the diagram ends with only one arrow of activity f before drawing the part chart i want to clear that there are two methods of drawing a part chart or network diagram first is called aoa activity on arrow or arc that means activities are represented by arrow another is aon activity on node circular node is used to represent the activity and arrows are just as bridges of or rather bridges connecting the nodes but in most of the reference books i have come across the aoa method is used it is not that aon method is not used it is also equally popular almost equally popular but to be very frank i am habituated to use the aoa method it may be your classroom teacher may be habituated to aon then you will have the benefit of studying both the methods in detail but i personally use aoa method after solving a few examples we shall also discuss the aon method but at present in this example and in next few examples we are going to use aoa method activity on arrow yes as i said earlier the network diagram is going to start with only one activity initial activity a and it is also going to end with only one activity a so we shall keep in our mind this thing let's start first of all starting node this is start of the network only a because b and c can start only after ending of a so it is very clear that we have to complete activity a first then only we can start b and c and b and c respectively have single successors okay so it is very simple we can directly draw the arrow without any hesitation these are b and c okay now d follows b that means b is predecessor of d and d is successor of b so we can easily show d okay why i am not drawing the full arrow that i will say explain after few moments e follows c that means c is predecessor of e or e is the successor of c okay 
say this is E. Okay. Again, I am not drawing the full sign of arrow. There is a reason behind it. D and E precedes F. Yes, D and E both commonly precede F. That means F is the common successor of D and E. That means the event where F starts will be the merge event. Yes. This is the example of burst event. From this event, two different activities start. Now, exactly the reverse case. It is not at all necessary to draw the final draft in the first trial itself. But this is a very simple D and E precede F or F is the common successor of D and E. That means this is F and this is end of the network, end of the project. Very simple. It is not compulsory to give this kind of say pattern or design. You can directly draw the two straight arrows up to this event. Or you can draw this one as straight, this one as say slant with slope. It is now upon you which kind of pattern or which kind of picture do you want to show. One thing is now necessary to number the nodes. How to number the nodes? We have to number the nodes logically. And how can we number? There is a method or pattern of numbering. And that is called Fulkerson's rule. Fulkerson. F-U-L-K-E-R-S-O-N. Fulkerson's rule. Yes. That is very simple. First of all, take the initial activity, whether, sorry, initial event, whether that is a burst event or not. Mark it number one. Yes, yes, please take it seriously. A very few teachers are there who discuss how to number the nodes in detail, to be very frank. Yes, now, now forget this event. Take the next event as if it is a start event. And use the next number. Okay? Yes, so, next number 2. Yes, we believe that this is start event. Forgetting this. We have already numbered uh, 1, the initial event as numbered 1. Now, again forget this thing. But now we have two alternatives. Which should we number first? Go from top to bottom, vertically. So, if we forget numbering of this, okay, we are going to use the next number only. But, if this is the, as if this is the initial event, we are going to number this. And it is turn of three. Okay, now forget all this. So, now believe that this is the initial, okay, it is turn of 4. Forget all this as if this is initial. Every time believe the event which we are going to number as the initial event. Forgetting the previous events. So even in case of merge or burst event, you will not face any problem in numbering. This is turn of 5 and this is turn of 6. Yes. Whenever you have two or more events to number, then form rather follow the vertical order. Yes, that's it for now. Thank you very much.